Let's begin with an overview of the human brain. The brain and cranial nerves concept map. In this tutorial, we'll cover the brain structure, including the cerebrum, as well as the pons, and the cerebellum. We'll also look at brain pathways which connect the brain, the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system. Motor pathways, as well as sensory pathways. We'll look at each of the 12 cranial nerves. We'll also discuss higher order functions such as learning and memory. This image depicts the brain in a lateral view. The lobes of the human brain are the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the occipital lobe, and the temporal lobe. Also in this view, we can see the cerebellum, the pons, and the medulla oblongata, which is continuous with the spinal cord. The human brain is organized into two hemispheres, and each hemisphere is further divided into these lobes. The brain itself weighs approximately 1.4 kilograms or 3 pounds, and its approximate volume is 1,350 cc's. The development of the human brain. Prior to the closure of the neural tube, the initial cephalic expansions occur. By four weeks of development, the distinct brain vesicles, through subdividing, lead to the formation of the telencephalon, the diencephalon, the mesencephalon, the metencephalon, and the myelencephalon. By eight weeks of development, the meninges are developing and the blood vessels begin to form the choroid plexus. The choroid plexus will eventually be part of the ventricular system of the brain where the cerebral spinal fluid, or CSF, is produced. By 11 weeks of development, the telencephalon, the cerebral hemisphere, has developed. And eventually, as development progresses, the mesencephalon will be comprised of the tectum, cerebral peduncles, and it will be joined with the metencephalon, also known at this stage as the pons.